Hello, welcome. Sorry, we had some technical issues. Hopefully, live is working now. It booted me off the first time I tried it. Please say hi in the comments. Uh, post any prayer requests that you have, any Thanksgivings that you have. Brian and Vicki, welcome. Good to see y'all. We'll get started in just a few minutes, right at noon. Let's see. June 10th. Our service begins on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. You can also find it on BCP Online. Hi, Grace. We'll pray for Thanksgiving for the successful surgery of your sister, Mary. And we'll also pray for a quick recovery. Hi, Catherine. We'll keep you in our thoughts and prayers. Oh, I'm sorry. You have COVID. We'll, we'll pray for you and we'll pray that your quarantine goes by quickly and safely. Hi, Janet. We'll pray for the repose of the soul of Mary. Hi, Henry. We'll pray for the lonely. Hi, Deborah. Yeah, we're keeping Catherine in our prayers. We'll get started in just about a minute. Hi, Frida. Hi, Sam. Yeah, we'll pray for everyone in, who's in the heat and the humidity. Hi, Christy. We'll pray for all those who are impacted by the floods. We've gotten so much rain. Hi, Amanda. Welcome. Well, it is just now noon, so we'll get started on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. We'll start with some silence. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? 
My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the meditation portion of today, uh, I want to talk about uh, our men's Bible study. Uh, we had it this morning. We have it on Thursday mornings at 7 for any men who want to join. Uh, and today we finished up Exodus. And the, the last few chapters of Exodus, until you get to the very last one, it goes into detail about uh, uh, all the different details of the, temp the tent, the tent, the meeting place of the temple, uh, of the tent, excuse me. And, uh, and it's the place where, for them, that's where God dwelled and resided. Uh, and it talks about how a, a, a fire would rest, a cloud would rest upon the tent when God's presence was there, and then it would lift up, and that's how they knew to go to another place. And it reminds me of all the different ways where we can meet God in both physical places, but also uh, actions that we can do or times that we can do. So I invite you to take some time to reflect on where is it that you feel God's presence? Where do you feel that cloud of God descending upon you, if that image is helpful? Uh, sometimes it's at church, uh, like at St. Mark's or wherever your church is. Uh, maybe you have a special chair or a special prayer corner or a room in your house where you go and do your personal prayers. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, are feel most connected to God when they're out in nature uh, or out in the water, whether it's on the beach or out walking on a nature trail, wherever it is. So I invite you to consider uh, where is it that you feel God's presence uh, today? Uh, and if it's safe to do so, uh, then I invite you to spend some time there. Uh, if you can get to that place uh, where you can, where you meet God and just you know, be there in silence and say your prayers where you meet God. Maybe it's right here in this noonday prayer and we meet God uh, by praying with each other over Facebook. Uh, so just I invite you to reflect on where are those places where we can encounter God and then uh, make an intention to try to uh, visit that place uh, a little more often. Uh, I invite you to put any prayers that you want to be included as we move to the prayer section in the middle of page 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The St. Mark's Prayer List. We pray for the Episcopal Church, for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, the Presiding Bishop, Larry, our Bishop, our clergy, Danny, Michael, Patricia, Susan, Joanna, and Billy, our staff and vestry. In the Anglican Cycle of Prayer, 
we pray for the Diocese of Upper South Carolina. In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for St. Francis House and its ministries, Camp Mitchell and its ministries. We pray for Christ Church Forest City, Good Shepherd Forest City, and all lay professionals in the church. We pray for peace. We pray for an end to racism, terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. We pray for all our St. Mark's staff, especially this week, Ashley Haggard, our youth director, and for all our parish ministries, especially this week, the Creation Care Group. We pray for the safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, especially Megan, Sam, Breen, Marshall, and Garrett, and for all families expecting children, including Marley and Taylor Gamble, Kelsey and Noah Allen, and the Herod family. We pray for those committed to our prayers, Cole, Austin, Rachel, Betsy, Matthew, Craig, Mary Sue, Judy, Karen, Suzanne, Mike, Liz, Alan, Denise, Paul, Kim, Kevin, Janet and Merle, Gail, Adam, Jan, the Weber family, Kelly, Kathy, Stephanie, Paul, Shelley, Rosemary, Margaret, Blake, Jim, and Amanda. We pray for all those celebrating birthdays today and all those celebrating wedding anniversaries. And we pray for those who have died in the repose of the soul of Laleen Condon. In our, in our Facebook prayer list, we pray prayers of thanksgiving for Grace's sister Mary and her successful surgery, and we pray that she has a quick recovery. We pray for Catherine, uh, that she recovers from COVID quick and that her quarantine is uh, uh, a good quarantine. I don't know what we pray for for quarantine, but we hope that the quarantine will be a time that's, uh, that's not lonely, uh, that your presence can be known to Catherine while she's in that quarantine at home. Uh, we pray for the repose of the soul of Mary. We pray for all those who are lonely. We pray for all those to be safe in the heat. We pray for everyone and anyone who's impacted by the flood. We pray for, we, we give prayers of thanksgiving for uh, the good news of two of Margaret's friends. We, uh, I invite you to take this time to uh, offer up any prayers that are on your heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for joining me on Noonday Prayer. Thank you, Margaret and Amanda and Christy and Frida and Sam and Deborah and Henry and Janet and Catherine. Special prayers for you. Thank you. Uh, Grace, Vicki, Brian. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Uh, thank you all for uh, joining me, and I hope you have a great rest of uh your Thursday. I'll see y'all later. Bye.